you superstitious? Today, very seriously. Oh yes, you might consider today to be one of the most unlucky days of the year. Right, but here that. at The Real, we rebuke that yes in the name of Jesus. <laughs> we're gonna treat today just like every other Friday. Kay. And by Friday, I mean Friday! <laughs> Well, that's great because you know how I like to handle the Friday the 13th. Yeah, baby. how you like it? How you like it? By drinking Marshmallow! Yeah. Springtime favorite. It's a uh -huh. strawberry basil margarita. It's yummy. It's so good. You no, know, and if you want to learn how to make this cocktail or a mocktail for yourself, head on over to therealcom Now, wow. let's do a toast, ladies. Lonnie yes. got a double in hers, man. Yes, Lonnie yes. oh, yeah. yes. got a double. All right. Give it up to Fry. Yay! Fry. Yes. Yes. Even more with the drink in my hand. Okay, this is delicious. Okay. I know, it's really well, good. Mm. This is a good one. <laughs> one group of people who like to believe in superstitions are brides. Mm -hmm. We all know this. Now, some brides like to control every aspect of their big day, but how much control is too much? A recent Madame Noir article asked if it's okay for a bride to ask her bridesmaids to cover up their tattoos. Mm. The debate came up after a bride was upset. Her maid of honor got a new large hideous tattoo right before the wedding. So babes, bridesmaids sometimes go through a lot to make the bride happy, but should they cover up their tattoos too? Is that right? What do you think? <laughs> yes, oh, the audience is mixed. Well, let's, but, let's ask our newlywed because, yeah. yes. you know, you didn't, you didn't have a lot of bridesmaids. Yeah, yeah I avoided sister. that completely. I was <laughs> like, I'm gonna pick somebody I know is not gonna look crazy, and I love her very much, and that's my sister. <laughs> Bridesmaids. I was like, everybody can attend, and I only had my sister as my maid of honor, and I, she did the same with me. I was her only maid of honor, so I avoided yes. that kind of situation. But, okay. but I, I, if I did have bridesmaids, <laughs> I'm trying to think, Jeannie, if you had been my bridesmaid, but I had made you covered your tattoos. Yeah, because Jeannie has lots but, of but tattoos. But the weird thing is, if I had asked shoulders. Jeannie, you wouldn't care. You cover them up yourself. Okay, this is true, I would. would you be but offended? I believe that, Adrian, before by loan, <laughs> that if yes. you loved me with my tramp stamps, then you should love me now. Girl, I'm not marrying you! <laughs> but as friends, it's not about love. Is, well, if you ask a bridesmaid to yeah. be in your wedding, you want you, want, you want them to accept and all, all the of good you. and the bad. And all the bad. But, but, but my only thing is, my only elf with the is though, guys, my only question is, is why did she do it right before the wedding? So I would want to know the story behind it. Because right. usually there's always a story okay. yeah. behind a tattoo. Like, did a family member pass away? She wanted to put, like, her uncle or something? Or, I don't know. Yeah, but you space. might not want somebody's uncle at your wedding. That's the thing. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just think... <laughs> Look. I think that there's no... I, okay, I wouldn't Same. be able to ask, but that's why I chose not to have bridesmaids because I don't want to ask you to do things that are going to be offensive but and I probably will have Claude, something offensive to ask wait, for. Wait, what are you, what are, what are Claude, you? that would never do that. But if she did, let's say she got a big thorny yeah. rose right here. Would you make her cover it up? Let's yes, say. Uh, yes, because that's not what I would want the look wedding. for my wedding sister. photos. But that's my point is that I feel like if you're a true friend, and the bride is your friend, and the bride came and said, hey, you know, there's a certain look that I want, mm -hmm. there's something it's that I want to do. Look. It's a certain That's look it. when you do brides. If, would you cover it up? I'll pay for um, a makeup artist to, to cover Correct. it up professionally. Oh, I don't see that, it's that one, it's her one day. Give her her one day. That's what I yeah. think. Yeah. Give her one day. How come on certain days you do cover your tattoos? Because I think of them as accessories. I think of them like when well, I, what if I don't want that accessory for okay, my wedding? Uh -oh. you. See, that's but, what I'm talking about. Why saying, we don't want your but, uncle What if the we thing? don't want okay. your, your ladybugs but for what my I'm wedding saying, day? But what I'm saying is, I'm really, I like to cover them up for myself when I'm wearing so a lot of- 
for you, but when not for me. Let me finish. When I'm wearing a lot of jewelry, <laughs> I don't want to be over accessorized. So I've got like a bunch of bugs here. I've got a lot of tattoos here. And so I don't need big earrings. I had, like, it's a lot. But I do think that when you accept your friend, you want them the way they are, and you don't want them to feel uncomfortable or insecure about who True. they are. True. So I have a life. compromise. I agree with I that. I have a compromise. Okay. What? So would you be offended <laughs> if Adrian photoshopped the tattoos in the picture? Or would you rather her just say, hey, look, I don't want you, I don't want you in the wedding? This is a great I question. question. Right? Yes. <laughs> I I'm just thinking. Thinking. This is great. Right? No, because friends who are good friends okay. face tune each other's friends. Go ahead and okay. delete on your own self, yes. But okay. in, the, in the public, like with your friends there, yeah. I don't want Adrian to be like, uh, Papi Lindo? Yeah. Papi Lindo, mm -hmm. this is my friend Jeannie, and sorry about her tattoo. No, I, I want you to be no. like that. No, I, mean, I, mean, like, I would want to feel like, this but is Jeannie, I, yeah. and she made that decision in 1997. We love her anyway. Yes, yeah, so of that's course. okay. But I'm saying, like, I think as friends. But it's should... not your day. Yeah, it's the bride's yeah. day. That's all I'm saying. Let, Let her be happy. Where the look coming from? Do you tell me? Yeah, because when you ask... just don't pick those girls to be in your bridal <laughs> shower. <laughs> that's a... I know, in your but bridal if, party, pick a different if, girl. In this situation, she did it right before the wedding. So then, you know, what do you do? Yeah, right. If I'm asking <laughs> Jeannie to be my <laughs> bridesmaid, I want her to come to my wedding all as all of you. For oh sure. God. Yes, as in you the are. Audience. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. In the, the audience. You, are. I don't you can agree clap with that. for that audience. I don't agree. No? Yes, 100%. And here's another thing. I get really sensitive about tattoos because people are, should not be judged for the ink they have. People are not certain types of people because of the ink they have. Right. So you're Please. almost yeah, feeding into this. that. At in, no, you know this. No, you're that's feeding not into true. That. I think it's yeah. one day. It's just it's a look. It's one day. And it's a look. And if it's a certain look that the would bride is trying to have. Would it depend down, what on the type look? of tattoo? What if she had like a cute little, just cute little heart? Or what if it was Jesus? Or what, right yes. there. Maybe exactly. she got saved. What oh. is the look we're saying? What is the look that we don't want? Y'all trying to. Careful there. It depends what do you say? on what the dress is. It depends Correct. on, you know, how the hairstyle. Sometimes you go to weddings, everybody has the same hairstyle, or every, everybody has the same yeah. type of dress. That's all I'm talking about. I don't think I think we're getting too deep with, oh, we don't want you, we don't yeah, accept you. It means you with I don't tattoos. accept you, I don't That's like you. It. No, I, think I, I love look. you, I accept you. I'm asking you to be what in my if wedding. What was important to her? Yes. Well, my wedding is important to me. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Why did I pick one or the other? What if you know how I'm some people? Saying. What if so, you know how some people are insecure about certain birthmarks that they have? What if it was a birthmark? Oh, no. Oh, let's be real. Dang. Let's be real. Let's no, say, man. what if it was a big birthmark there oh, that my. threw you out of the sink? Then would you have See, this? Covered? This is why I drink. No, you what see why I okay. drink? This is why. Who just As the passed person away. at the table with the most tattoos. What if it was a picture of her mom who just passed we away? Thank you. Put, I even had a table of all the people that had passed away at my wedding, and we had their photos up there so people can, it, so that would work for that situation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but what you you're saying is your parents oh are on this. God. But I do want to say, at least you're owning what you're saying, which is you want a certain look. So I, I didn't do anybody. just know that that certain look can so, offend certain people so because don't they're have not in the judged party. by their look. But well, I don't think that's just judging. No, I don't think it's judging. It's one day, it's the bride, it's supposed to be the bride's day. Yes, it's it not our day. If my friend came to me and said, can you lose 10 pounds for the, I'm like, I'll try to. No, if that's what she's asking All me to do, it's good. the same thing. If, it's, if that's what she's asking no. me to do, I will try to do Lottie, that. If one of your I will friends try to do that. told you, in order to be it's my wedding, you're gonna look. lose. It's Wait. a certain look. No, she I doesn't avoided have all to. these conversations for this exact reason. <laughs> this is why I avoided all these conversations. I'm not gonna lie. I have certain friends that I did want to be a part of my bridal party, and when I thought about like the look and all of that, it seemed difficult to pick a certain style of a dress that was gonna look right on everybody. On everybody, it, yeah. You know, it, it, there was just so many things, just things that I literally was like. We will just it's stick a certain with hairstyle that, that wouldn't that probably see, wouldn't I look right. I, it, de well, it depends. See, but that's when I think you had a lot of wedding is I had fixated lots of on the look. Me. How many brides made? Me. I forgot, but it was a lot. The picture, <laughs> the picture. Yeah, I think it was eight or oh. nine. But what I did was I picked a dress where every girl, and I asked them, I said, would you feel? Because they were all different shapes, different colors, you different you know sizes. And I asked them, I said. 
are you comfortable in this dress? Are you That's comfortable that so this nice. shoulder is out? So in a way, I gave them options. I did, you guys, and then they got to choose what made them feel comfortable. And I wanted to make sure that they looked and, and, and felt we should just add your as- pictures. I know, right? That just is as special cool. as I did on that day. So I got them their own makeup and hair team. See? Because I wanted them to look That's and awesome. feel good too. Really nice. yeah. I did. Yes. I did that for my sister and you my mom. You did that for your sister. That was it. <laughs> you did. Yeah. But I, but I do agree with you that it's your day. You can have whatever you want. They're, they're, yeah. you, sh you should be comfortable to ask. I just also understand that when you have a group of friends, who they are and what they represent there is more than any photographer, any meaning of the dress, any look can ever convey. It's who they are if in you your truly life want them there. and who they are after. I mean, they could be there. They're just not going to be in the wedding. That's all. There you go. They're just not going to be in the wedding. There you go. I didn't lose weight. Okay, let me look. I didn't lose the 10 pounds, so I was sitting in the audience. That's oh it. My gosh. That's it. That's and, it. And, and no, I, let's go. And don't ever say that woman's or let's that go. person's name in front of me, because I would molly walk the person bad thing, to tell your friend to lose See, weight for the wedding. Oh, that that help. That's no, going too far. The lo <laughs> okay, that's the a lot. losing weight thing is <laughs> going a little too far. The birthmark, cover your birthmark. <laughs> this, this is a lot. Come on. There's there's extremes. How is much it weight did you lose for your wedding? I lost 23 pounds. Exactly. Okay, it can be but done. But she's not Let's telling go. somebody else to do it to be in her wedding. That's <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't do well, that. Well, I think that's the difference between a bridezilla and and a bride. Yeah, I and I just know. thought I, I took the basics. Too much. So I, you know, I hate confrontation. I don't. I don't want to ask nobody to do yeah. those things. So yeah. I just it pick was, my sister I and keep it, it pushing. I looked at it as it was her day. That's what she wanted. I yes. wasn't gonna do it, and so I did. That is very gracious of you. Okay. Very gracious of you. Well. Weddings can be expensive, but should breakups be? According to the New York Post, research shows research research shows that a spending spree can boost your mood after a breakup. Oh That's God. right. Nursing your broken heart through investing in a vacation or a new wardrobe can help you get over your ex. However, the trick is not to go overboard, because then you'll be broken up and broke, yeah. so you don't want to do that. Shoot. So ladies, is retail therapy a good way to mend a broken heart or not? Nah? Yes, oh my God, yes, yes. I mean, Jeannie, we're gonna shopping. disagree on this one too. What? Uh oh, Here no. we go. Oh my God, there is nothing like marking the new chapter in your life with a dope piece of outerwear, whether it's lingerie, a blazer, a sexy pair of jeans that make your butt look amazing. Clothing in your closet is to represent the different parts of your life. And I like looking at something and saying, I still got it, right there. You know what I mean? Okay. okay. But you're the one who told me, Tell if me. you look good, you feel good. So that's yes. the reason why, I, I don't, I think it can help aid the yes. process of, 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 mm -hmm. of a breakup. Mm -hmm. I know for me, you guys know, I do not buy a lot of designer clothes, yep. believe it or not. Yes. Um, but when I went through a breakup, I, I did. What'd I you bought buy? Mew Mews, Mew Mew shoes. Fancy point, schmancy. Fancy schmancy, but this is a thing, you guys. Um, I was going to San Francisco to ring in the new year for the new me, and I packed all my new clothes, came back, left my luggage in my car. Guess they what, y'all? Got broken into and they stole all my clothes. No. Seriously? Yeah. See? So I did see it as kind see of like a little what? lesson, and then I was forced to see, really I deal with the I issue. don't necessarily um, believe in <laughs> buying something. I think during a breakup, um, I like to do things like spend money on a nice trip. I agree okay. with or that. Or go somewhere, you know. I agree with that. So, I, so it's, it's therapy, but and it, you're spending money, but it's a different type of way. Not necessarily with clothes. Experience. Or maybe yeah. consider actually spending money on therapy. Oh, okay. No, some of y'all need to talk to somebody instead of buying a new outfit, okay? That's what your girlfriend is saying. Yes, this is true. Some of you some real help. Therapy is included. <laughs> Therapy should always help. But the problem is, sometimes every day, the, there is nothing that instantly gets you feeling all fixed and good and new. Then like new seeing and yeah. believing. Looking yeah. at yourself in the Looking mirror good. and just going, dang, yeah. I'm gonna be all yes, right. Why does that have to, why does that value have to be placed in something you purchase? Ooh, this turtleneck got me hot. I know, me too. <laughs> Like, why do you have to put that into something you purchased? I feel like you guys know that I hate shopping. Like, I would, like, shopping for me is torture. It's so weird. So why I can't would I want to torture that. myself while I'm already with a broken heart? Now, I do believe something like wearing lingerie that you already have in your drawer. Pick me in your drawer. drawer. Your drawer. Adrian. What? After you got married, when you bought your Gucci loafers, and yes. you and is wore your matching Gucci loafers. Yeah. Y'all were feeling real cute and pretty at that time. Yeah, no, but that's because no, my heart wasn't broken. Break. My heart was fulfilled. Okay.